What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the most overpowered Pokemon in the game right now, which is Belly Drum Azumarill. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But this team right here is an exact replica of Wolfie Glick's Azumarill team that he used in the first Pokemon BDSP tournament. So I will be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel. But I was talking to my people who make me teams. And I was just like, yo, I need a Zoomerel team. I really want to showcase Belly Drum Azumarill on this channel. And they're just like, yo, Wolfie just use a team. Why don't you check it out? So I gave it a look, all that good stuff. I was like, yo, this team's fire. Let's use that exact team. So that is exactly what we're doing today. Hopefully we get some wins with it. Hopefully we get to show off the power of this Pokemon. But getting started off with the team preview, we have the one and only Azumarill rocking out with that Citrus Berry. Adamant Nature and then Eevees are attacking HP with a tad bit in speed. Huge power ability, obviously, because it doubles our attack power and then the move set of belly drum to set up aqua jet for first turn priority and stab and then play rough for stab and protect for our final move cannot wait to use this guy and show off the full power of it next pokemon is going to be togekiss and togekiss pairs super super well with azumarill just allowing it to set up by going into follow me's and redirecting the shots this thing has air slash you want to put pokemon to sleep follow me like we just said and protect for its last move evs for this thing is hp and speed so it can outspeed and be a bit bulkier and then this thing is also rocking serene grace so we can get more flinches with our air slash Timid Nature for another speed boost, and then the item this thing is holding is the Eye Papa Berry to give it more HP when it is in a pinch. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be this Salamence, and I love this Salamence build right here. It has the Choice Scar, so it can pretty much outspeed any Pokemon in this format. This thing has the Bashful Nature, so no stats are changing because it has a few physical attacking moves and a few special attacking moves, so I did not really want to give this thing a certain nature, so I just kept it even all across the board. EVs are going to be mainly in special attack, a little bit in HP, and a little bit in speed. And then this thing is obviously rocking out with the Intimidate ability to drop physical attack on the opposing Pokemon. Move set for this thing is going to be Draco Meteor for huge stab damage, Flamethrower for coverage, Rock Slide for some coverage, and Dragon Pulse for our final stab move. Next Pokemon is going to be Tyranitar, and I absolutely love this Tyranitar build. It hits like a truck. Wait till you guys see the EVs. This thing has Protect, Dragon Dance to set up, Crunch, and Rock Slide both for our stab moves. EVs for this thing is just straight attack and speed. This thing is made to outspeed, made to hit hard, and just dump on Pokemon left and right. We got the Sandstream ability that's going to pair well with the Gar Garchomp. We'll get to that in a bit. And then the nature for this thing is adamant to give it another bit of an attack boost. Item on this thing is Focus Sash, so we get, don't get one tapped. And then this Pokemon can stay in the match a little longer and maybe pick up some kills for us. Next Pokemon is Garchomp. Like I said, he pairs super, super well with this uh, Tyranitar because the Sandstorm pops out. And this thing also has Sand Bell as its ability. So Evasiveness is going to raise up in that Sandstream. And then we also have the item of Bright Powder, which lowers the accuracy of Pokemon that are hitting me. So combine Sand Bell with the Bright Powder. Hopefully everybody is going to be missing this Garchomp and this thing's just going to be dodging attacks and doing some big damage. This thing's Jolly Nature and then a normal EV spread for it with attack and speed. Move set for this thing is Sword Stance to set up, Protect, Dragon Claw, and EQ for stab. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be this lovely Scissor. And with all these Dragon types and Pokemon that are super effective at Fairy, we definitely need it, this guy. We need Scissor to counteract on the Fairy Pokemon such as Clefable, Gardevoir, and Togekiss. We got Bull Punch, we got X Scissor, we got Sword Stance to set up and protect for the final move. EVs for this thing is HP and Attack, and a tad bit in speed so we can outspeed other Scissors if it comes down to that situation. Nature over here is going to be Adamant to give it another Attack Boost, and then the item this thing is holding is Life Orb so it can absolutely dump on Pokemon left and right. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, I will have a Poke Pace down in the description below with all the stats, moves, everything you guys need down there so you guys can recreate this team if you want to. But without further ado, let's hop on to that rank ladder, look to get some wins with this Belly Drum Azumarill team. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, locking in this amazing Azumarill team. And my goal for this first battle is to just set up Azumarill and just get after it. This guy's got a pretty good team, but I think Azumarill could pretty much sweep here. He has the Cloyster, he has the Gliscor, he also has the Metagross, the Garchomp, Blaziken, and Luxray. Something I need to watch out for is going to be that Luxray. Maybe it's rocking Discharge. Can be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. He also has that uh, Cloyster that can dump on my Togekiss fairly easily. So you know what? I'm going to go into Togekiss and Azumarill. I am going to lead them too. And then in the back end, I could go Tyranitar and Garchomp. They can work really well up against a lot of these Pokemon. I think I'm liking that. I think I'm really liking that. So let's lock in these two and get after it. I'm with it all day. I kind of want that Salamence because, you know, Salamence is really good with the Choice Scarf. He can do a lot of work onto that... Uh, Onto that Garchomp, we can outspeed him. And same thing if we have the choice to a flamethrower on that Metagross. But we have to ground move a Garchomp who definitely outspeeds. So 
I'm cool with this all day. I'm cool with this all day. Let's lock in our four Pokemon and look to get some work done with this Belly Drum Assume Roll. I'm hoping he, I can just set up. I'm hoping he goes to a lead where we can set up. He's going to send out Glyscore and Blaziken, and I'm really liking this lead. I am really liking this lead. We're going to go in with the Zoom Rail and my lovely little Togi, and in this case, he gives me no reason not to go straight into a Follow Me and a Belly Drum. Right? Oh, he brought all six, too. He brought all six. What you mean? What you mean? That's it. I'm setting up my zoom rail, and we are sweeping this guy. We're going for the 4v6 here for you guys. The 4v6 in double battles. That would be clutch. That would be that would perfectly show off uh, my zoom rail. But he does protect the glide score, which I'm really cool with. And he might protect Blaziken as well. He does not. Follow me. He's going to poke here. And I wonder what he's going for. I wonder what move he's going for. Maybe a sword dance? What's he doing here? He's going to go straight for a fire blast. I'm cool with that. We soaked that up all day. Just don't burn me. We do not burn it. Yo, belly drum set up. Belly drum is here. We came to play. I'm going to take out the Gliscor. I feel like Gliscor is posing a threat here. And one thing I forgot to mention in the team preview is that this Azumarill EVs are a little messed up. It has one too many in its uh, HP EVs, which makes it not proc that Citrus Berry. So if we got to lower that, uh, I forgot to do it. So if you guys are looking to build this team, I will have an actually correct Pokey Paste down in the description below for the, for the EVs that you should be using. But I don't even know if I should go into a follow me here. I just think going straight into this uh, Air Slash alongside with an Aqua Jet. I think it's a perfect turn. I don't think we need to go in the follow me here. I think we just Aqua Jet up on this thing and we just get slowly ripping on it. He's going to withdraw the Blaziken. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. No follow me is poking. Glasgow should go down here in one shot. And we can just hit the up on this thing with an Air Slash. It's a good turn. This is a good turn. Yo, the 4v6 is in full effect. Belly Drum Azumarill is ripping up. It is ripping up. I'm guessing my Togekiss does outspeed, but I might want to go into a follow me. I do not know. It really depends how much damage this is. Fair Slash is going to poke, and yo, that's some good damage. That's some good damage. He gives me no reason not to go into another Air Slash. Because I'm guessing that my Togekiss outspeeds. Metagross is going to poke here, and do I just Aqua Jet that? What's my play here? What is my play here? I'm thinking I just do this and maybe just Aqua Jet across. Because Aqua Jet's going to kill this thing. And even if we don't go and follow me, I still think Cloyster attacks my Togekiss with an ice move. That's what I think happens. I could protect Togekiss, but I think we have speed all day. He's going to go for an ice shard, and I'm fine with that. We should be able to soak up an ice shard. Yeah, it does a good chunk of damage, but not enough for this bulky Togekiss. This is going to po poke out here. Aqua Jet one tap, and no problem. It got a crit, but we did not need a crit. We're plus six on attack. That's stab. We also have huge power as her ability. We are just steamrolling this guy. I'm telling you, yo, 4v6. Actually, like a 2v6. We're not going to use the other Pokemon. We pretty much have this one on lock. We pretty much have this one on lock. He does have Blaziken, which I could see have the Focus Sash. So we'll see. We will see. But yeah, I was so upset when I saw he brought six. I'm like, what you mean he brought six? And then I realized his lead. I was just like, yo, we can set up Belly Drum and we can showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys this Pokemon is OP. This Pokemon is OP. He's going to go into Garchomp alongside with... Uh, Luxray, and I'm just going to Aqua Jet down on the Luxray because I'm not really too worried about that Garchomp. We should be able to eat up an EQ from it and then proc a berry. Oh no, we shall see. We shall see. Intimidate's going to poke. We're still plus five. We're still going to just be able to dump on a lot of these guys. But in this case, follow me. I don't care if Togekiss goes down and just Aqua Jet straight into that Luxray. We need Luxray gone because I really don't want to go in for like a discharge with the Garchomp on the field. It can do a lot of damage. It can do a lot of damage and take out both my Pokemon. It can take out both my Pokemon. So let's see this guy's play. As long as he doesn't protect that Luxray. He might protect him and go into an EQ. He does not. That's wonderful, yo. Bye bye, Luxray. Luxray, get on out my game, yo. We don't want you here. We don't want your Aqua Jet flying through here. It's broken, yo. I'm telling you, yo, this combo is broken. It is overpowered. I said it in the beginning. I said the most overpowered Pokemon is this Azumarill. I'm not worried about that he's doing this. I'm not worried one bit that he is doing this. You know why? You guys want to know why? Because I outspeed with an Aqua Jet, and I'm going to kill that thing. I'm going to kill it all day. He's going to send out Blaziken as his final Pokemon, right? These are his last two. We're just steamrolling this guy. Poor guy. Poor guy. And I might just go into a follow me. Follow me. Take out the Garchomp. I'm with it all day. Because I think Blaziken could be Sash, so I'd rather just take out the Garchomp first. Especially because he's Sword Stance. And Blaziken could protect. This thing could be going for an EQ. Maybe just take out my Azumarill and pass up on the follow me. But... I'm just going to go for his follow me. Yep. No protect comes out. I'm cool with that. Azumarill outspeeds. Garchomp, you better not be Sash. You better be going down here. Aqua Jet flying. Yo, dude, it's broken. Look at this. Oh, no, it didn't kill. Yo, it didn't kill. Tokus dodges, though. And this thing Swords Dance again. That's a big mistake. That's a big mistake. That's a big mistake, that thing Swords Dance. That's a big old mistake. I'm just going to go for a follow me again. 
I'm gonna have a zoom rail pick up all the kills on this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna have a zoom rail pick up all the kills. We're gonna go into the Blaziken. Follow me comes out here, and I'm so surprised we didn't pick up that KO on the Garchomp. Left it on one, but we are plus five, not plus six, due to intimidate from the Luxray. This pokes out here. Blaziken's dead, dude. This is a clean, clean sweep. Clean sweep with the zoom rail. What's he gonna go for here? He's gonna go for a bulldoze. Doesn't affect Togus. And no, with zoom rail, don't die. Oh no. Poor Azumarill. He was looking for the six KOs. He was looking for the six KOs. It's all good. I'm just going to bring out my Garchomp. My Garchomp should be faster than him, or should be at least be a speed tie. So I'm cool with this because, again, we are fully invested in EVs on speed, and we are also Jolly Nature. So this is the fastest a, uh, a Garchomp can get. Fastest a Garchomp can get. So I'm hoping we outspeed, and I'm hoping we just dump on him. I wouldn't be surprised to see him cancel. He doesn't cancel. We outspeed. We hit this thing with a Dragon Call and get the show off that belly drum. I should say overpowered belly drum in that first battle. Just clean sweep. Won a nice little 4v6. We should just end the video after that battle. That was ridiculous. We just 4v6, basically 1v6, that whole team. Azumarill was just going off with the Aqua Jets, left and right, taking out Pokemon in one shot, and we just dominated it. But so, hopping into our second battle here, hopefully we get to grab ourselves another win and go back to back. But this guy's rocking a pretty cool Trick Room team. And not gonna lie, Azumarill can sweep this. Azumarill can go off here. He can go off, so you give me no reason not to use it. If we sweep here again, our third and final battle, we will not even use the zoom rail combo, and we'll show off the other four on the team, but yo. It, he just gives me a reason, like, no reason not to go into this. He has Hariyama, who's probably going to lead. Then I can protect. He can set up Trick Room if he wants. I just think we're fine. I just think we're really thriving with those two. We can definitely get our setup pretty easily, and then just roll out the battle from there. But uh, what other Pokemon should I go with? I could go Titar. Titar's not bad. I think a Scizor here could be pretty good, too. Lovely little skizzy. Gotta watch out for the ice beams from Milotic and the uh, Cresselia. That's definitely an option. But I think just going in with Tyranitar and Scissor in the back end could work wonders for us. Could definitely work wonders for us. So let's lock it in. Let's look to go back to back here in today's video. But like I said, we, we could probably just like end the video here. Because like we already showed off a zoom rail to its fullest potential. But you guys know we always do those three battles. He goes, goes in with these two. I'm guessing he's going to pop a Trick Room. And I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. I wonder who he's going to fake out. I am going to try to go for the, uh, I am going to try to go for the air slash over on the Hariyama. I, I just wonder who he's going to fake out. That's the real question. I don't care if he fakes out a zoom rail. I do not care. Actually, we could try to get this thing to flinch with Serene Grace and just go for a belly jump setup. I'm cool with that all day. Let's do that. Cause I think he's just going to fake out one of my Pokemon. Yep. It's going to be toe kiss and that's fine with me. Good thing. I did not protect my zoom rail or anything. Or waste a turn with follow me. We can just belly drum and I think this thing does set up a trick room. I think this thing is just setting up a straight trick room. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for a trick room. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. At this point, we just go into follow me and we just start aqua jetting through. And that is like the best part about this. That is the best part about this is like, even if he trick rooms, we still have aqua jet, which is first turn priority. In this case, we just follow me and I think that this, uh, this Hariyama might be posing a threat. And do I just go into a player off and finish that off? Or do I think Aqua Jet can do it? I think Aqua Jet can. He's pretty bulky, but come on, yo. We're plus six with huge power. This could be pretty deadly. These Both of these guys are actually pretty bulky. So I wouldn't be too surprised if they can soak it up, but I'm hoping not. We are a beast. Look at that, yo. Look at that Azumarill, dude. I'm telling you guys, it is overpowered. They got to ban this Pokemon or something. Things gonna oh, he hazes. We're setting up again. We're setting up again. You son of a biscuit. He hazes. Okay, so we get rid of one Pokemon. What do we do from here? Do we set up again? I mean, I can't. I mean, actually, I can. I mean, I can't because he has Aggron out here who is going to drop a rock. That's tough news. What's the bite here? I mean, we have Tyrantar in the back. We have Skizzy in the back, too. Skizzy ain't bad. Um, Who do we put to sleep? Who's going night-night? We have to yawn on somebody. Let's yawn on the Dusnor. And just protect our lovely... Or do I protect this? I can just go for a straight Aqua Jet. See how much damage we get off on this Aggron. It's not going to be much. I don't think there's a point of setting up Belly Drum again. I really do not see it. So Aqua Jet's going to fly here. And it still does a decent amount of damage. This thing has Haze on it. Critical hit. Good work, Azumarill. Good work. And I'm kind of upset. I'm upset with that. Shadow Punch comes through. We're able to soak. And trigger our Citrus Berry. So that's good all around. I'm curious if this thing's going to go for his Steel move or go for a Rock Slide. Let's see what he, let's see what he decides. If he goes for a Rock Slide... But I told you it would be a problem. And Togekiss survives, which is lovely. So we are going to be able to get off this lovely yawn and pop our eye pop a berry. 
and Popper at Papa Berry. So I might just protect the Toe Kiss. Oh, Toe Kiss flinches. <laughs> Me. Uh, I think I just double protect and start wasting out this Trick Room. Because if I can get rid of this Trick Room, we can be looking pretty good here. We could be looking pretty good if we could just start wasting out this Trick Room. We have the Scissor in the back with Bullet Punch. Good little first time priority move. And dude, that's so tough. That's just tough news, man. I think really is rocking Haze on him. He's really rocking Haze. I would have took him out in one shot. If I knew that, I would have totally followed me and just went after that thing. Because that could have been game. Because then, like I said, Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet. So if we're taking out a Hari Hariyama with that, that's just good news. But I'm going to go for the Yawn here. And in this case, I'm just going to go Aqua Jet onto the Aggron. Deal some more damage onto it. I'm cool with it. No crit, but we bring it down the red, which is really good. That's so I'm just going to go for Shadow Punch. And Azumarill dies. So we're going to hope we can dodge a Rock Slide. It's 90 actually, so it does miss every here and there. Let's see what he goes for. Rock Slide comes in. That's going to connect. And that's going to say bye-bye to Kiss. Okay. I I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely fine with that. Uh, what's the play call here? No more Trick Room, so I could... I could potentially just set up. I could potentially set up. I could potentially set up. I think I'm just going to bullet punch maybe onto the Aggron. Let him put it in another trick room and just D-dance up. We have a Sash, so if I can get off a Dragon Dance, that could be wonderful. That could be wonderful. So let's just see. Like I said, I think dra I think this is the call. Dragon Dance into a bullet punch? Bullet punch should be able to take out Aggron. I know he's bulky, but yo, Technician Scissor with Life Orb. Gotta be able to do that much. That's gonna be my play call. He might protect the Aggron. He just withdraws him. I could have Swords Dance double set up. And he's going to go into what? Cresselia. Okay. So Cresselia is going to poke out here. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. And I think he is going to pop another Trick Room. So nice little Bull Punch damage there. And Life Orb damage is going to come out here. And I think, again, Trick Room is going to come out. The Dance is setting up. So we get that attack boost. That's really what I wanted it for. I really wanted that attack boost. He doesn't know we're Sash. He doesn't know we're Sash. So Trick Room pops again. Saw that coming all day. So we use it towards our advantage to get a little bit of a setup going. Uh, what's my play call here, though? Rock Slide, I don't really think it's a call. I think we just start crunching and we start getting rid of some Pokemon. Dustnor is really not that strong. He's just there with Haze. He has Shadow Punch, so I just think, like, targeting down this Cresselia could be really good for us. Hmm. Who is slower? Who's gonna go first? That's the real question. That's the real question. Who is gonna go first? So I kind of want Scissor to go first. Because if X Scissor can kill, then the Crunch could slide over. So 86. And okay, Scissor is slower. And plus, we're dragging its once. I kind of shouldn't know that. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to double down the Cresselia. If x Scissor doesn't kill, Crunch can come through. But if it does kill, then uh, what's called will come through. Okay, so he hazes me. He hazes me. Okay, I'm fine with that. Cresselia is going to use a Psychic. We're going to be able to soak that up all day. Easy eats. And we're going to be able to come through here with an x Scissor. Can this KO? It's going to be kind of close. It does. That's lovely. We do not have our attack buff anymore, but still, Crunch is going to slide over here on the Dust Noir. Dust Noir, or Dust Noir, whatever you guys call it. Whatever you guys call it. Should at least be able to do half. But this thing is bulky, so I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. Way more than half. Bolt Punch should be able to finish that thing off. That is lovely. End of defense drop. Yo, we are sitting in a great spot here. Up, oh, he has a berry. He has a berry. Okay, so we still have our Sash, which is really good for us. It's really good for us. So in this case, I think we just target down and we save our focus. going to bring back out Aggro. I'm gonna bring back out Aggron. Aggron's kind of scary. I might want to bullet punch him instead. Hmm. What's my play here? What is my play? Aggron can come in hot with that steel move. Oh, did we already take out Hariyama? Oh, yeah, we already did. Oh, okay, yo, we're chilling. We're chilling here. This is a dub. This is a dub. We go in the crunch here and we just bullet punch across onto the Aggron. Agron, I mean, we still have our Sash. This is a dub. I thought he still had Hariyama, but I forgot, yo. We Aqua Jetted that thing with a Zoomerel. What a second battle. Solid second battle. Got to show off with Zoomerel a little bit more, but you guys already know the power by now. But more importantly, he hazed us, and we showed a different way of winning with this team. We had to swap out, not use a Zoomerel, and got in our T-Tar and our Scissor to clean up the work. And they had Trick Room on us. And they had Trick Room on us. So we just played it really well. Made some good reads, got into a nice little Dragon Dance, all that good stuff. But this thing's just going to Pain Split. He's just going to pain split. It really don't matter because this crunch is going to do a decent amount of damage. And then bullet punch should be able to come through and clean it up. Or crunch just KOs it because it is minus one on defense. So let's go, guys. 2-0 and oh, back to back for today's video. Let's hop into our third. Look for that perfect record.
let's grab ourselves a perfect record with this Azumarill team. We're actually going up against an Azumarill in battle number three, so that's pretty cool, but we've been playing really well in those past two battles. First battle, we just dominated a 4v6 with Azumarill, and the second battle, we got Azumarill out there, but had to play against it because he had Haze. He kind of just hazed me out, and we swapped our Pokemon and got in the right place for that victory, but this guy's got a cool team. He's got Suicune, Azumarill, Swift Swim, Kingdra with that Pelipper to set the rain, and then Scizor and Zapdos and Zapdos, and I think he might lead Zapdos, and I kind of want to lead Garchomp here, and then go into Tyranitar in the back end, just so we can change out weather whenever we want, but I think we should be fine, he has a lot of ice moves, I'm not even gonna lie, ice could be scary, ice could be scary, so I might want to bring a Zoomerel here, do I want to bring a Zoomerel? I think we're fine, we showed off a Zoomerel until it gets in the first two battles, so obviously I could go into that and Belly Drum and go in there, and kind of get after that battle that way, but I kind of want to show off these other Pokemon, even though Azumarill and Togekiss is the better call here. I think we're fine with this. I think we're fine with going into Garchomp. And did we go in with Skizzy? We could go in with Skizzy. Skizzy could be pretty good. Actually, we could lead Salamence. Let's lead Salamence. Let's lead Salamence for the sheer fact is I can drop a Draco Meteor and swap it to my T-Tar and change up weather if we have. Or if he starts off with weather, then we can just go in from there. Then we can just go in from there. But let's see what he does. Let's see what this dude's plan is. He's going to go Pelipper and Kingdra, so we got to swap right off the bat. We have to swap. We have to swap. Or I could just drink a meteor. But I don't think we outspeed a Swift from Kingdra. Ooh, or I can swap the Garchomp. And then drink a meteor. And then just drink a meteor. And then get the Garchomp back out there. Could be plays. Could be plays all day. Could be plays all day. I ain't gonna lie. This drink a meteor can do some damage. Could do some damage. Or I could protect you and then go into a drink a meteor. But. But the smart play would be swapping T-Tar instead of making a read and just dropping. I think a Dragon Pulse could kill, but I have to make sure this thing goes down. So, you know, let's swap. Let's go straight into this Twist Scarf Draco Meteor. Try to finish off this Pokemon. Because if we get rid of Kingdra, that's a huge call. Because Rain is really not that big of a factor without this Kingdra. Because the Kingdra is really there to thrive with it. So let's just see this dude's play. Let's just see this dude's play. I'm hoping he just doesn't protect Kingdra. Because if not, we're Choice Scarf. We just got to connect our Draco Meteor. And we're sitting in a pretty spot. Garchomp switch out. Give me that weather. We are not letting you get weather control. Cannot allow it. Cannot allow it. Especially with these Pokemon that have all these ice beams and whatnot. Sandstream's gonna fly through here. Your Swift Swim's gone. My Salamence is now fastest on the field. Pelipper's gonna wide guard. Oh, we love it. We love a good old wide guard waste of a turn. We love a good old wide guard waste of a turn. Draco Meteor's gonna fly. It connects. King's Dra get on out my game, dude. You do not eat up a Draco Meteor. Get him gone, yo. Solid turn there. So now we have Sandstorm. I could uh could potentially D-Dance and swap in the Garchomp because I really want to swap my Salamence at this point. Because you know, we are minus two on special attack. But again, it really de depends who he brings out here. Helper's going to take Buffets, which is huge because a lot of Paloops, I like to call them Paloops, a lot of Paloops actually run uh, Focus Sash. So that's really good for us. That's really good for us. So big time Draco Meteor there. Uh, and he's going to throw out Scizor. So I could protect, I could just easily protect and go back into Garchomp. It could also Sword Sands up, which could be scary. Could drop a Rock Slide. But what do we think he's going to do here? I think we just protect and he goes into like an X Scissor or something like that. Could bring out a Scissor over own. I do think Garchomp's a play. And just uh, saving our Salamence. I think that's our play. I think that's our play. We could see a swap out from the Pelipper. I really don't know what, what, what we're going to see here. Kind of scared. Titar's gonna protect him, hoping that X Scissor comes through and he's not setting up a Swords Dance. Let's see what he goes for. Pelipper's gonna go for a Y Guard. Yo, this thing just keeps predicting we're going for Rock Slides. We're not touching your Rock Slide, dude. Go for X Scissor. Then go for a Bull Punch. And that's a huge block. Okay, so from here, it's a pretty easy setup. It's a pretty easy setup. I don't, I don't think he goes for the Y Guard again. We could just Rock Slide. I think I'm just gonna rock slide him. Because he looks like he's targeting down the Tyranitar. So at this point, we can set up a Sword Dance easily and drop a rock slide. I don't think he wide guards. He does wide guard. That buttery biscuit. <laughs> he wide guards. All right, I don't really care that he goes after Tyranitar. We're fine with that. Uh -oh. Yeah, okay, yeah. I thought he was going after uh, Garchomp because the way he positioned. I was like, oh, he's going after Garchomp. But I'm cool with that. Our Garchomp gets a nice, lovely setup here. And uh, what do we go from here? What do we do? What do we do? We could protect, but he might think that we're going for protect. So I think I'm just going to double down into Scissor. Scissor is the real problem. Scissor is definitely the real problem here. I mean, if he takes me out with a Bull Punch, he takes me out with a Bull Punch. I'm going to come across with a... Uh, I got an EQ. EQ will do a little bit more, but... 
I think we just drop Crunch. He could wide guard, but actually he might not wide guard. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go for this. Let's let our T-Tar fall out here. And just protect our, uh, and just protect our Chomp. Actually, I could just Dragon Call into the Pelipper. Yeah, let's just Dragon Call into Pelipper. This is going to go for that Bullet Punch. That's fine. Garchomp outspeeds. I wanted my T-Tar to go out here because Garchomp outspeeds. Should be able to take out Pelipper, and then we just get out our Choice Scarf Salamence with Flamethrower. And we pretty much locked this battle now. Dragon Call pokes through with Sword Dance on it. Pelipper, get on out my game. Get on out my game. And I'm glad we're actually showing off this Salamence in the start of final battle. Just got ripping with him with the Draco Meteor right off the rip. And now we're bringing him out here to counteract on the Scissor. And then we still have our Life Orb Scissor in the back end, which is really, really good. So he's going to bring out Zapdos. We're thriving here. We are thriving. We are thriving. We're just going to drop a Dragon Call in that. And Intimidate's going to come out here, which is huge. I always forget we're rocking Intimidate with them. So whenever I throw him out, I'm surprised. Like, wait, we have Intimidate? Yes, sir. <laughs> so we're just going to drop a Flamethrower, like I said. And then I think we just Dragon Call into the Zapdos. It's giving me no reason not to. We're in a 3v2 situation, and we're sitting in a great spot. Bull Punch flies through. That's easy eats for my boys. He outspeeds everybody with the Flamethrower. Later, Scissor. Later. Nice little choice scarf action. Four times super effective. Get that thing out of my game. Get him out of my game. Garchomp definitely outspeeds his Zip Zapdos. And this could kill. Maybe, maybe not. Brings him down the red, and it's over. It is GG's. Because he can't kill my Garchomp in one shot. He cannot kill my Garchomp in one shot. And we outspeed him. So let's see what he does. He goes for a thunder. That's fine if you take him out. We really only needed him for uh we really only needed him for scissor. And we played him perfectly. We got that Draco Meteor off the rip, took out a great Pokemon in Kingdra, and then took out a scissor. Took out a scissor. Those are two stud Pokemon that we were able to take out. And now we can throw out our final Pokemon, who is not very effective up against it, which is going to be Scissor. Our own scissor. But two bullet punches should be able to take it out. But more importantly, or what's it called? Our Dragon Call is going to be able to outspeed, and it's just going to be GG's. It's going to be GG's 3-0 with this team, and I'm glad we got to show it off the way we did. Got to show off Azumarill in the first two battles, and then got to show off the other Pokemon, not Azumarill or Tokus, in the final battle. It's a perfect set of battles and a great video, so hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Dragon Call pokes through. Perfect record. Let's get it. What did I tell you guys? I told you in the beginning that Azumarill is OP. Hopefully this video showcased it to the fullest potential and showed how overpowered this Pokemon is. Once you get Belly Drum set up, it's pretty much over. You have Aqua Jet for first turn priority. You're sitting plus six on a, the attack board. And then you also have a huge power ability alongside with the stab damage to do even more. The other parts of the team is really fun to use too. The Salamence is great with the Choice Scarf. Outspeeds a lot and can counter a lot of Pokemon with that versatile moveset. Then you got the Tyranitar Garchomp combo alongside with Scissor in the back. This team is just perfection. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive. Every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.